this is Blackpool on the edge of Cork. I walked down this street before and I remember just at the time the pubs were all open. It's early in the morning now, but there was just a, a smell of Beamish, Murphy's and Guinness just spilling out onto the streets from all these little bars along here. It smelled, they, they smelled like very old pubs. The way I remember pubs smelling in the past, not necessarily now, you know, a bit of a, a smoky kind of Beamish Guinness smell, very strong. What a contrast from this morning. These roads have no cars. Coming out of Cork City was obviously busy. I was lucky because there were road works on the road that I took out of Cork. So at all times there was only kind of half the amount of traffic that there should have been. So I was grateful for that, but I'm more grateful for this now to be back out in the countryside. We've got a flowing river here on my right hand side. Great. I'm gonna head in the direction of Fermoy today and this is the first time, I think, since the beginning of the trip to head north. <laughs> How cool is that? Head good, body good, feet good, mind good, all good. Let's go. Culture, recreation area. Perfect. I was looking for somewhere to have my lunch, and this is it. In case you're new to this, to wild camping, although this might look like a suitable place to go camping, it's actually not. That's the remnants of a campfire there. I would imagine left by someone who doesn't really care for the environment, because you can see what it's done to the ground. And this is the sort of place where you are most likely to have visitors or company, maybe unwanted visitors, because it's very obvious, right? And it's right next to a road, right next to a man-made structure. So what I always do is I'd head off down a trail like the one here and I'd look for somewhere out of the way where people are less likely to be and you can then camp in peace and know that nobody's going to disturb you. On this nice quiet back road here which is a great contrast cron cron what? contrast to this morning leaving Cork City which was noisy noisy and busy what's happening with speech <laughs> it was noisy and busy and it, it felt like it definitely felt noisy and busy the entire time I was there actually when I walked into Cork City 
The first thing, one of the first things I saw was a McDonald's sign. That's the first time I'd seen a McDonald's sign on the trip. And it kind of captured how I was starting to feel. I felt like I'd re-entered this consumer driven, noisy place full of distractions and things that I don't need to know about. <laughs> And I guess it means I'm just not a city person anymore. But either way, I was highly aware of it and I started to develop some anxiety yesterday and last night as a result. And it's only starting to fall away this morning. And today as I walk along this quiet country road and as I get back to nature where I've been spending most of my time over the past couple of months. So <laughs> I'm definitely feeling great now and happy to be back on the roads. Head good, body good, feet good, mind good, all good. Thank you for supporting all my videos. I hope you're enjoying all these videos that I've been putting up and the episodes. I'll see you soon.